Oh, why go scratchy, scratchy, little kitty? Kitty got lice! Well, well, well. Lice are pretty common not only in animals, but humans too. That's an interesting question to explore. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us put our heads around these tiny creatures we call lice and answer an extremely itchy question. What causes head lice? Zoom in! Lice are very tiny whiny insects that are only about the size of a sesame seed. But don't get fooled by their small appearances as they are a kind of parasite which feeds on their host's blood. They are divided into two main groups, namely sucking lice and chewing lice. Sucking lice are found almost exclusively on mammalian hosts, including humans. In contrast, species of chewing lice are commonly found on bird species, feeding on hair, feathers and epidermal skin or scales. Although petting those irritating guests on your scalp can be an embarrassing experience, but fortunately, lice are not a sign of poor hygiene or a cause of disease and are very common. Yes, every year millions of people get them and most of those millions are kids and teens. But the worst part is they can quickly spread from one person to another through head contact. Or if lice are stuck on things like a comb, hat, hairband, cloth, etc. And that thing touches another person's head, that person may also get lice. So, if any of your classmates get them, chances are, in no time, the rest of the class might get them too. Once lice gets into your scalp, they also start to lay eggs known as nits that look like dandruff or dirt. So, to tell them apart, Try pulling those tiny specks with your fingers as dandruff and dirt can be removed easily. But nits stay stuck on the strand of hair and can be hard to pull off. In that case, ask someone to use a magnifying glass or a bright light to help you with proper inspection. If you find the nits yellow, tan or brown, the lice haven't hatched yet. If the eggs are white or clear, it means that the lice have hatched. Although these tiny creatures aren't a threat to your health, but too much scratching can lead to a scalp infection, which raises a vital question. What can we do to get rid of these unwanted guests? Well, if your head feels itchy a lot lately, Kindly speak to your parents or guardians ASAP as they can quickly recognize the nits or lice just by looking at them. Once they find the culprit, your parents can remove them with hands by using a fine tooth comb on your wet, shampooed hair every three or four days for a few weeks. And if the problem still persists, it's better to consult your doctor who will examine your scalp and suggest a special medicated shampoo, cream or lotion that removes lice. And if you think someone you know has lice, then it's better to maintain a bit of social distancing for a while and not check comb, hats, clothes, etc. that belong to them. Trivia time! Did you know lice can survive up to 30 days on a person's head and can lay 8 eggs a day? Also, head lice can only survive on humans and can't live more than 2 days without us. Hope you had fun today. 
Until next time, it's me, your best friend, zooming out. Never mind.